Welcome back, y'all. I'm back with another read. All right, so this is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it resonates, all the better. All right, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, as well as share with your family and friends. Comment in the comment section below, all right? So let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. I'm back and I'm full of throttle. I really haven't been doing videos for the past three weeks, almost a month. Yeah, just relocated, trying to get settled in here. So I'm back on it. I'm back on it. I'm back on it. So you guys are going to be seeing way more videos. All right, so let's see. This is a collective read, right? So this is for all signs. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? Somebody's feeling moody. Somebody's real moody. Somebody's really, really moody here. Somebody's in like a funky mood. Somebody's in a funky mood. I'm just getting like a blah mood. Um, because possibly because someone's avoiding making any real effort. Somebody could be keeping their options open. Somebody could be playing mind games and being non-committal. So maybe someone here is realizing that they could be getting breadcrumb, like they could be getting the short end of the stick. Okay. Now we got oh woo 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 woo. Now we got people on the internet. We got some trolls on the internet. So someone's mood is showing through the internet. We got some trolls here. For sure, for sure. Because we got follower, viral, and trolls. Everything to do with the internet, social media. So someone's mood is just someone, they could be posting sad things, sad stuff, or just, you know, their energy is just very telling, okay? That someone has woke up and realized that they are being, either being played with or being breadcrumbed or somebody's playing my games or they're realizing that, their partner doesn't want to commit. Okay. Now everybody on the internet sees this as well. Mm, okay. Tell me more. Somebody definitely needs to take a digital detox. It could be a, a okay boomer. This is someone who's older, like someone's mother, aunt, grandmother, somebody who's in the boomer stage, okay? Um, someone is, is, has either taken a digital detox or needs to take a digital detox. Um, because something here about this situation is just like somebody's in their feelings. Somebody's in their feelings, possibly about a picture. Um, somebody could be looking ratchet on a picture. I'm getting like somebody's looking real ratchet or something like that on a picture. Somebody's telling somebody, look, you need to stay off the internet for a while. Benching. Yeah. Somebody's saying you need to have several seats. <laughs> you need to have several seats. Okay. Mm. 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 -mm, -mm. Tell me more about this mood. Yeah. Fear of missing out. So somebody is dealing with anxiety or fear. They fear that they're missing out. They fear that they're missing the opportunity. They're feeling pressured to make some type of decision as well, too. They've been doing a lot of capping on the net. I feel like it's on the net. Cap, flexing. Trying to get other people to see their point of view. Okay, so it's a lot of capping going on on the internet. That's what's going on. But really, this person is moody and, and not feeling like themselves because they're coming from a space of ego. They really feel like they're missing out 
Um, they they fear missing the opportunity. They fear being looked at a certain type of way. They're feeling pressured. Okay. Um, tell me here about woke. Sipping tea. Somebody could have woke up to some tea. Could have woke up to some type of message. Somebody saying, look, you look like a simp. You need to leave. You need to leave this situation. Because you're really out here looking thirsty. You're really out here looking thirsty. you giving uh, somebody the community... Um, the community girl, you out here flaunting this energy. You really look like a simp. Yeah, this is your bae. This is the bae. But she may have a, a little background. He or she may have a little background. That's the T. Okay, now tell me what's the breadcrumbing going on here. Adulting. <laughs> this is taking a charge of your life, putting in the work, maturity, being responsible. So somebody feels that somebody needs to grow up. And be an adult. Okay. Somebody feels like somebody isn't being an adult. Somebody feels like somebody's being childish. The way that they're responding. The way that they're acting. They're being childlike. This okay boomer wants to come out again. We got savage. Whoever this older person is. There's an older person. Could be a mother, a father, an aunt, an uncle. Somebody is digitally observing Keeping tabs, stalking on this, what's going on. And it looks like it's going on over the internet. They're observing. They're keeping an eye on whatever type of drama this is. Somebody is either getting ready to get off the internet and ghost, <laughs> ghost their page um taking a digital detox taking a break because it done got real ratchet we got benching it done got real ratchet thirsty mm. somebody real thirsty here and they need to have several seats this person doing the most doing the most and now they don't dug a hole for themselves because now they look thirsty now they just look thirsty. They look bad. Like, I'm getting like someone looks bad. Now, they're being watched. Everybody's watching them. Everybody got the tea on them. You got somebody over here as well. Like, you need to grow up. So, this person may decide to kind of, like, get off of the internet. Or they're trying to slip away from the internet scene. Okay? Because... They need to have several seats. They out here looking real thirsty. Like, they just doing stuff for attention at this point. Now, they look real bad. They look bad, bad out here. <laughs> they look bad, bad out here. Like, really, truthfully and honestly, they look bad. Tell me more about this person. We got the strength card. It could be a Leo. A Leo could be involved. Or this person is just very prideful. Like, they're very, like I said, ego, egotistical. Got the Ace of Cups. And Star. And the High Priestess. And the Seven of Swords. At the bottom is the tower here. So Scorpio could be involved. Or there is a tower moment that's headed this person's way. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. Could be in their finances. Okay. Now the strength card is here. Tell me more about the strength card. The lovers. Okay, so this ha could have something to do with the lover or decision that needs to be made in love. I feel like this person could be trying to figure out, trying to figure someone out or figure a situation out. Why well, the lovers? It could be a Gemini. Yeah, we got the Four of Wands. So this is definitely a relationship. Why is the Hermit here? 
Eight of Cups. Somebody's trying to find a way out. The challenge is that somebody's trying to figure out a way to leave or walk away from this connection. They don't know how, it looks like. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Knight of Wands. Somebody's about to start playing. Somebody's about to start coming back and forth, in and out, doing whatever they want to do, out all night. Why is the star card here? Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands could be involved, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the King of Wands, uh, more fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But uh, a choice is needed to be made. This person feels like they need to go ahead and take this leap of faith and make this decision. I feel like this person feels burdened, okay? They feel like they got a lot on their plate. Why is the high priestess here? And the ace of pentacles. It's like your person knew that this was going to happen or they saw this coming. It's, it's something not being successful. The six of wands and the ten of swords. Or someone feels like they aren't getting any attention. Now, the seven of swords here in the future energy. Oh, and the five of wands. There's competition and there's sneakiness, lying, and deceit going on. Lots of Leo energy here. Leo could be involved. We've got the sun card here as well as the, it's a lot of fire here. So there's a lot of passion here. And we got the emperor here as well, Aries. But somebody's trying to show somebody who's in control. Could be a Libra involved too. I'm hearing somebody saying, I thought you wanted a relationship. <laughs> I thought you wanted this. Somebody's trying to find a way out. This person is waiting on somebody to re have regrets so they can get find a way out of this connection. So if your person is dealing, if you're still connected to someone and they're dealing with someone else, they're currently trying to find a way out of this connection, the connection that they're currently in. They're looking for a way out. They're just wait. They're waiting on it. <laughs> Let me see what this person wants to say. What does this person want to say to the collective? I knew I was a distraction from your pain. And this person is also hiding behind material things. Like they're trying to they're trying to mask their pain by hiding behind material things. But this person was a distraction. And they knew there was a distraction. I can't stop thinking about you. I don't re I don't react when people mention you. But at the bottom here we got we will be together again. I regret lying to you. But we needed to let each other go. This person knows that they messed up everything and they're hoping that you could forgive them one day. They also could feel like if this is someone that you've been with for a while, like you guys go way back, they were saying like you and I were too young. Okay? So this is the message that I got for the collective. If this message resonates with you guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends. All right. Comment below. Until next time. Ciao for now.